you or a loved one could be increasing your mortality rate by 4% by taking the wrong type of vitamin D. I'm gonna show you exactly what that is and what the research says. Some of the symptoms, if you're experiencing any of these, it might be coming from your vitamin D supplement, so we need to stop taking that type. When you look at the blood levels, there's two different types that you can measure. You can measure your D2 and your D3. I think you should measure both of them, especially if you are dealing with calcium levels that are higher in your blood whether a calcium score is up or actually the amount of calcium, I get this question all the time. There's a lot of people with too much calcium in your blood, that leads to hardening arteries. If your appetite is down more than abnormal and that's not a good thing, if nausea is up, it might be the vitamin D, the one you're taking. Decreased weight, especially when it's unexpected. If you're getting stiffness in your joints or if you're worried about stiffness in your arteries, increased muscle soreness, kind of unexplained, more than normal, is it your vitamin D that's causing it? increased constipation could it be simply your prescription vitamin d or the vitamin d you're swallowing each day that's creating backup in your digestive system if fatigue levels are up you're tired a lot increased swelling especially in the legs and the ankles or if you're having kidney issues or increased amount of urination different than normal this could all be coming from the wrong type of vitamin d and i see the mistake in millions of people making this mistake all of this can increase your mortality overall by 4%. So a study was done and they compared vitamin D2 to vitamin D3 in elderly or older women and they studied the overall mortality of them. Outside of these being the warning signs of way too much vitamin D2, what they found is that vitamin D2 increased mortality in those that were taking it compared to a placebo. Increased mortality of all types from the wrong type of supplement. This is why I don't agree with your doctor giving you supplement advice if they're not an expert in the supplement, what it is, how to take it, what to do, yet they can prescribe vitamin D2 and give you virtually no other advice on supplements altogether. I think it's a bad approach. So if you're on vitamin D2, I would discontinue it. I would not give it to a neighbor. I would throw it away and I would properly get on D3. D3 is the form that you're gonna get from food a lot more often, even though some types of D2 can come from food. We're not talking about that right now. You're just talking about the synthetic form of it that pharmaceutical companies make that you're putting into our body. D3, from the sun or taken supplement-wise. In the study, they were taking it supplement-wise. And they found in the same study, increased mortality by 4% in people that took D2. D3, decreased mortality of all causes by 11%. We got a 15% swing between the two of these. From picking the wrong type of vitamin D, a 15% swing in dying. Why is no one talking about this? What a study. Now D3, when they really looked at it, check out this chart, one of my favorites. When you get your blood level of vitamin D3 high enough, you are now tapping into the benefits that they found in this study of decreasing your breast cancer risk by up to 83%. Why are we raising millions of dollars off of Kentucky Fried Chicken boxes and containers that are pink or pink donuts when we have research like this, why are we doing unhealthy things to try to raise awareness about breast cancer prevention when your proper levels of vitamin D3 will eradicate 83% of it? Colon cancer, same thing, 17% reduction. Ovarian cancer, same thing, 17% reduction. Colon cancer, 60% reduction. These are massive, massive killers. And here, if your vitamin D3 level is high enough, then you prevent a lot of these diseases, type one diabetes, fractures of all types, falls, major problem in elderly women and men, multiple sclerosis, even heart attacks decreased by 30% when blood levels are simply above 35. This is such low hanging fruit. And the research is very clear. The wrong type of vitamin D is going to increase your mortality. The right type of vitamin D is going to decrease the mortality. We need to be taking the right amounts. How much is that? I recommend 4,000 IUs per day. Must be taken with K2. Must be taken with magnesium. And you're going to absorb it better if you take it with zinc and the other fat-soluble vitamins A and E. You can throw in some probiotics for a little bonus. In the description of this video is the one that I use and made and formulated for that absorption reason so that myself, my kids, and everyone I teach 
can increase the chance that they live longer by 11% instead of D2. So if you're taking D2 or a family member is, please share this video with them. And if you're wondering, when do I take these supplements? How do I combine them together? What's the right time of day to take them? What's the right way to take them? I made this video right here to not only cover vitamin D, but all supplements to give you guidance because I know you're not getting the proper guidance from your doctor. Check this video out right here.